so let's learn how to install android studio uh, you have to type android studio enter the first link that you will get on google is download android studio just click on this link yes so this is the home page of or web page of android studio as you can read here android studio provide the fastest tool for building apps for every type of android devices right so this is a official tool which is provided by google itself and we will going to use this particular tool in our course okay so what you need to do is then you need to go to download option in download option you can see that for each platform there are different versions of android studio package so if you are having windows you can go and start downloading this for mac for linux for chrome os you know there are different releases so since uh, in this particular system i am having windows so i am just clicking on this okay now in this also you have two options right so just go with wherever it is re written recommended right or the latest one now there are some uh, terms and condition that you have to accept so i have to click uh, that terms and condition and then you can start downloading your android studio okay so by the time android studio is downloading we have to download one more important um, software that is jdk java development kit right so in order to develop android apps we need to install two things one is the android studio and other one is a java development kit okay so java is basically now owned by oracle so see android apps are written in java so you need the java compiler and library on your system okay and compiler and library collectively called java development kit so when you type oracle java development kit or jdk something like that you will get the link to download jdk right java development kit just click on this so this page will be open then you have to go to java downloads okay java downloads uh, then come down here based on the operating system you can select now see we have to select or install jdk not jre okay so just be careful in this we have to install java ac development kit right so since i am using windows so i will just go to windows now now there are a few uh, things here so what we need to do is we need to click on x64 installer right so just click on this just remember that we need to download jdk not jre okay by mistake people used to download jre and then there will be issues so jdk is also started okay now i have to click on this so first we need to install jdk and then we will going to start installing android studio okay so you will get this page you have to click yes now it is showing preparing to install you just have to keep clicking next next so we just wait till it's install okay so it is completed just remember one thing first you have to install jdk and after that you need to install android studio okay don't reverse the order otherwise there will be some issues okay right so now you have to just so it is showing that java ac development kit successfully installed okay close it now we will go again to our android download and click on the downloaded file so now we are going to install android studio okay so i have just click on the 
downloaded package, downloaded exe. Yeah, so it is showing, please wait while setup is loading. You have to click yes. Then next, okay, now important thing to note here, Android Studio is already installing. There is something called Android Virtual Device, okay. So please make sure that you check this box. By default also it, it is checked, but please remember to check it out because we will going to run our app on virtual devices, okay. So for now just uh, remember that you have to uh, click it. In a short time, I will going to discuss how to create the virtual device. Okay, right. So just keep the default location and go ahead with installing. So basically, see to run your Android app on your computer, you use a virtual device. What is a virtual device? It is a software emulation of an Android phone or tablet. Okay. So there are two options if you want to run an app you develop an app now you have to run that app right for testing either you can run it on a real device to run it on your real device your device should be in the developer mode okay and there is a few setting that you need to do to make the device in a developer mode and you have to plug that device in your computer okay then only you can execute on your app on that particular device other option is just create a virtual device so android studio have that facility to create a virtual device create a virtual device and then you are ready to go you just whenever you run your application it will automatically going to install in the virtual device okay so we will see that in a minute Yes, so this is completed. Now we have successfully completed or installed our Android Studio. Just open it. I will give you a small glimpse of how Android Studio looks like. We will going to see, you know, everything which is available in Android Studio in a bit detail. But for now, I am just going to show you how to develop a simple app, right? Okay, so I don't have a pre-installed Android Studio, so I'm saying do not import any setting. Okay, now this is uh, Android Studio opening. Next, so for now I'm saying don't send anything. I'm just going with the standard setting next okay so since we have already installed sdk right uh, now here are few things that uh, you know that are there so android sdk built there is a platform you know there is an emulator and there is something called accelerator right so this actually it, it is a hardware support to accelerate execution of your virtual device so you just have to accept it okay uh, i think i would like to have uh, you know i'm accepting everything and then i'm clicking on finish so now it is unzipping and downloading and installing a few more packages okay so let it complete okay sometimes it may happen that you will get a few error right because it may be possible that your connection will be break so basically by installing android studio it will going to download lots and lots of things right lots and lots of packages if your connection broke in between the package was not properly downloaded and when the system installed the package you will get an error right so if it happens you will get a message a pop-up just click retry okay so for example here i got an exception uh, an error 
while installing a particular SDK platform 33, right? So then I click retry, then he says that okay, install this revision 2, then again the downloaded was done, then the things was installed successfully, okay? So sometimes it may happen. So now uh, I have completely installed all the packages, now I have to click finish and yes, so this is the first page which you will get when the Android Studio is successfully installed, okay? Now let me just open uh, a project for you. So I'm just clicking on a new project. For now, I am just uh, clicking on, you know, a basic activity. Okay, so this is a. So now here actually you will get different themes depending upon which type of app you are you want to build, right? So you want an app with uh, interfaces. You want an app with navigation activity, etc., etc. Right? So there are lots and lots of options. Like Google Maps is there. So this you will get inbuilt. Okay. So for now to start with, I am just clicking on a blank activity and I am clicking next. Okay. Now on this, uh, you can give your application name. So I am just keeping everything as usual. Uh, however, in language, I am choosing Java, okay, so we are going to develop our apps in Java, so I am clicking on Java and that's it, okay, so then I will say finish, now you have to again wait for some time to get the things done, so initially when you start Android Studio for the first time, it will take, uh, you know, quite long amount of time. But once you start working in Android Studio, it will, you know, open regularly. Once you open it regularly, it will quickly get started. But definitely you need high configuration system, okay, to run Android Studio smoothly. Okay, so here we are. So this is our project. Uh, it is just uh, building the gradle. Yes. Hmm. So now everything was started. Now let me show you how our project looks like, right? So the things are still loading. Let it load completely. Okay. So this is how it looks like, right? For now it is uh, looking very complex, but once we will understand the things, it will be easier, okay? So the important thing I would like to mention here is building a device, virtual device that I am talking, right? So what you need to do, go to tools, click on device manager. Now here we want to click, uh, when we want to create a virtual device, right? So you have to click on virtual and then click create device. Now from here you can select any uh, phone of your choi choice, right? So for example, you know, I'm selecting let's say pixel 5, uh, 6 inches here. Yeah, this is the uh, configuration of the phone, uh, screen size, etc. How it looks like. So let's assume for now I'm just uh, selecting this one and go to next device. Now from here you can select API levels and you know a different thing. So for now I am clicking on the last version. So you have to install that particular. So these are the operating systems, right? These are the different variations of operating system. We will going to cover all these things in class. So there are different variation, for example, you might heard of, uh, you know, Android 9, Android 10, Android 6, Android 11, etc. So I am going to install for now Android 5 into this device, okay. So you have to select that particular operating system that you want to install in this virtual device I am talking about. Uh, then the system will download that particular operating system once it was downloaded you know every next time you will create another device it is there okay so one time you have to download that image so let it download i can download it installed done finish okay right 
so now I can so see now the download button will go away from here so I'm selecting this one okay next now in which mode you want your device so I'm for now just keeping the settings you know as is and just click on finish now it says creating Android virtual device right so now the system will going to create a virtual device for us now this virtual device looks exactly like our Android phone okay so let the system create the device okay so device is created you can see this is the phone now when I click on run okay so this is a run button it will starting emulator if you can read the message here starting AVD, AVD in uh, starting Android virtual device okay so the device is starting now this particular device is taking 2.5 GB on the disk but there are devices which can take lesser right so you can install a device for example 800 MB or something like that right you have to lower down the you know configuration of your mobile but it will not harm to any of your uh, you know application this is just for testing purposes or if you are much more interested you can go ahead buy a very simple device you know very cheap device uh, online Android device and then you can start doing your experiment in that real device okay now you can see connecting to yes so this is the device it is switching on you can see okay i can actually increase so let me just switch off this now you can see the device right this is switching on so it looks exactly like your real device now whenever we will going to execute this app okay so we can execute the app through this run button run app so whenever I click run from here or I click shift F10 the application will going to install in this particular device which you are seeing here okay so this is how you have you can create a virtual device and can work on it okay so let's wait for a couple of seconds let me show you the device once it started and that's it for this particular video kindly make sure that you have your device ready now there are some extended controls if you want to set a location some cellular battery power etc for now i don't want this feature so yeah this is your mobile device you can see it looks exactly like a real device right okay now in the class we will see how we can build an app and then how can how we can port this app into our uh, device okay thank you